So in this video, I will go over the lights. So let's start with clicking on to the application and then it's going to open up in the Chrome. So I'm just going to open up the Chrome, search for the device and connect the 16 keys device, which is right here and connect device. We will go into our lights. And as you can see, if I click onto my macro keyboard here, you can see a light and we will talk about how the execution is done and what color it's going to be and what style of the light you want. So in this one, we will just cover the light and then the next two sections, I will cover what the event is, which is when should the certain light mode triggered? Like if I click it now, so let's start with just simple basic light modes. So with the static here, you can see when I press the button, the light turns on and then when I release it, it turns off. So the color stays the same for the time that my key is pressed. And if I go into more options, there's an indicator light. And in the indicator light, we have option of when do you want the indicator light to be turned off, like caps lock or num lock, scroll lock. So if I confirm that and confirm here, this indicator light is basically when in the Mac we press this button caps lock and little light turns on. So it's basically just that. And if I save forever the changes and come back here and assign this key to the caps lock and then confirm it, confirm again, save forever. If I press this key, the caps lock is going to turn on. And if I press this key again, the caps lock is going to turn off. So it's just basically an indicator. You want to tell the keyboard to tell you if the caps lock is on or not. I will leave this one as it is and go into our next option, which is breathe. Now in the breathe, you have the options to set the speed. What I find good is the 4x, but you can try it with other stuff as well. And in the event here, we're just going to click on to execute after pressing for now. We will go over the other options in the few more videos in the future but we will just do execute after pressing confirm and then save forever. Now, if I click this button, you will see even before I click this button, you can see something's happening. It's kind of like lights getting dimmer and brighter and dimmer and brighter and dimmer and brighter. And it will just keep happening over the time. This one stays on forever. If I go on to another options, which is breathe once, and do the speed of 4x and then confirm an event trigger would be executed after pressing and if i confirm that and confirm again say forever you can see it only dimmed once so i will click again you will see that it's slowly bright and then dims slowly bright and then dims and you can change the speed of how faster you want it to go or how slower you want it to go by just pressing on to the set speed. So if I go on to 8x and confirm and confirm again, you will see the light gets brighter and dimmer very quickly. But if I go and change the speed to 1x and confirm, confirm again, save forever, you will see the light turns on and stays on for a very long time. Like I haven't clicked this button and still it's on. If I click, see it's getting dimmer now. And if I click it again, it will go bright and then go dim again. So that's what this one does. And if I go onto the next button, which is gradient, this one's personally my favorite. And I like the speed of 4x or 2x. And I want the event to trigger after I press the button. With this one, you have to click on to the random color or like other colors, but we will do random colors for now and then confirm, save forever the changes. And then you will see the light in this one will change from one color to the other. And this is really nice if all your keys are set in this way. And I can also change the speed to 8x in this one. So 8x and then confirm, save forever. And then you will see it's changing colors very quickly.
from one color to the other and then another color I do use it sometimes but I don't use it enough so you can switch the color and then you can change it by random color and you can set the speed to 8x should be fine and then event would be execute after pressing confirm and then confirm again you will see every time I press this button you can see it's changing too fast that you can see the lights flickering so to better fix that we will go on to 1x and then confirm and then confirm again and then save forever the changes and then you can still see the colors changing like really quickly if you want to fix that one way to fix it is change the event to the second option after the none and confirm and confirm and save again what this does is once you click it it will only change then which is good Let's go in our next option, which will be switch color only once. So speed would be 2x instead of 8x. Color would be random. And then event would be execute after pressing. Confirm, save forever the changes. And then the light will stay on. But every time we press the button, the color will change. Now my light here is really bright so you can't see it but these colors look really nice in the dark. Let's go into our next option which is twinkling. What twinkling basically does is it flickers the light so I'm just gonna change the speed to 4x and execute after pressing to the event and then confirm the changes and then I will select the light to like random color and then save the changes you will see it's flickering too fast and I don't like this one. So you can, one way to fix it is you can do the second option again and then confirm, confirm again. And then this one will make sure it will only turn on every time you click the button. And it will like flicker very fast the longer you have the button press for. But if you're not having the button press all the time, and just a little bit you will just notice a little bit of a light so that's one way to fix it but if you want it all the time you can select the execute after pressing now again I'm gonna elaborate that in the next few sessions so don't worry about what I'm doing with the event and the color mode at the moment just copy what I'm doing and then you will learn in the future lessons so confirm and then save forever and you will see the random colors flickering again and again the next one is twinkling once this one is very finicky i never get to work this one it always doesn't work so if i change it to a random color and change the speed to 2x and then trigger to be execute after pressing and then confirm and then save changes every time i press the button nothing happens so that's why i stopped using this one because it doesn't work with our keyboard so the next option would be fade out and fade in personally fade out is my favorite one so you select the fade out select the color would be a random color the speed would be something like 4x would be good and the event would be execute after pressing so confirm confirm and then save forever here and then you will see once i press the button the light will turn on and it's gonna fade out so if you want the light to fade out for longer you can do 1x confirm and then confirm again now you will see the light it's gonna stay on for a very long time and and then it's gonna be like gone and then the next one would be fade in so with the fade in select the random color the speed would be 4x and then the event would be execute after pressing confirm and then confirm again and save forever in this one whatever light is turned on before stays on and once you press the button it goes from that dim stage to the bright stage 
and it stays there so if you have this for all the keys all the keys are on soon as you click this one it will dim out so that's it for this lesson i will teach you the colors and the events in the other one thank you everyone and i can't wait to see you in the next one